live in Woodstock and we've been here for almost 30 years. I grew up in Toronto and uh, I'm married to my husband Kent, um, second marriage for the both of us. We have six children between us and uh, seven grandchildren. I enjoy singing. I'm in the Woodstock Fanshawe Singers Choir, community choir, and um, I do uh, a lot of hobbies craft-wise. This year I entered uh, six items in the Woodstock Fall Fair and had uh, awarded four firsts and one second. So I'm very pleased with uh, what I've done. I have had an annual mammogram for many years having been on hormone replacement therapy and uh, in October 2011, it was clear. October 2012, there was a small spot noticed and I was called back for, for uh, more views. Uh, ultimately, an uh, ultrasound and then a biopsy, which turned out to be malignant. Um, my family doctor referred me to a surgeon here in Woodstock. Uh, I thought maybe I should go to London and that it would be better there, but it was not. Um, a Dr. McLeod here is the chief of surgery at the hospital and he did a lumpectomy and after that was done I had my appointments at the cancer clinic, um, both the medical oncologist and radiation oncologist. So that's where I found out that I needed both chemo and radiation. When I got the breast cancer uh, diagnosis, I, I wasn't afraid because I knew that there were, um, there were ways of dealing with it. And I, once I got the plan in place, met the oncologist um, and knew what I was facing, um, I, I was comfortable with it. That started, I had a portacath put in at the end of January and the chemo started three days later uh, for four sessions, three weeks apart and then radiation started in um, May uh, for 25 sessions. The best thing was how happy and upbeat all the staff are, and they, they make you feel well and cared for. How, how close they feel to you and that they truly care um, about your well-being. And the surgery, having, uh, having that here, uh, it allowed my husband to, to be close to home to come and uh, you know, pick me up or come and visit while I was in overnight. And now I go uh, regularly for Herceptin treatments until the end of January. And whenever I walk in, they know me by name and, and all about me. If anybody asked me if they should have treatment in London or in their home community, I would definitely say home community. It, um, as well as not having the drive to London and being tired with that, it also um, means that your, your family um, can be with you uh, for those treatments if they want to be. And I just, I just feel that it's the best way to go. I have a lovely wig that I, I, I bought and um, wore it for the first little while after my hair was gone and uh, then chose to try tying scarves and I had two or three uh, different colors that matched different sweaters and I, I learned to tie them in turban style um, and people commented on it and how attractive it was but also um, it gave people an opportunity to know that I was going through treatment and that it was okay um, and that I was feeling really well. I volunteer at a hospice here in Woodstock called Sakura House, which is the Japanese word for cherry blossom. There's a program going there uh, called the Memory Bear po Program, in which we uh, are given clothing by a family whose family member has died and uh, make memory bears out of that clothing. I bring the fabric home. We try, try and get them done within a month of receiving the material. Um, not always possible if they're more intricate uh, to do, uh, like matching plaids. And When the memory bears are finished, I deliver them out to the hospice. The uh, people are called and they pick them up there uh, from the memory bear cupboard. Another one of my hobbies is gardening. It takes me literally an hour a week to weed the garden because of the mulching and um, 
just the particular planting of the perennials. I, I love it out there and um, we, we have a little private space out the back that we can sit um, and are sheltered from uh, the traffic going by. On a day like today when the sun is shining it, it is beautiful out there and I, it's my oasis at the back. I'm very blessed to have uh, been treated here in, in Woodstock and in with with a great surgeon as well.